a lot of requests asking to show you snack ideas, something a little bit lighter than what we normally do. So I thought, why don't I show you what I snack on, which are frozen yogurt pops. They are full of natural sugars, high in protein, and best of all, they satisfy your hunger. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't know about you, everybody is different, but when I realize I'm hungry, I have to eat like right now, and I will eat anything there is around me, even junk food. So I came up with these frozen yogurt pops so I can always have them in the freezer and ready for me to grab. I put together a few of my favorite flavors of pops and we're gonna start out with a zesty blueberry and lemon. So I make my frozen yogurt pops in my food processor but if you have a blender that works just as well. So the base for our pops is yogurt. Now I like to use non-fat Greek yogurt but you can also use any type of yogurt you like even actually dairy-free yogurt works really well. I like Greek yogurt because it has higher protein than other yogurt and also it is really filling which is what you want from a snack. On top of our yogurt, we are going to add in our blueberries. Now, I like to use frozen blueberries when we're not quite yet in berry season, but you can use fresh, that's not a problem. Just do me a favor and look on the back of the pack and try not to buy berries that are berries and sugar. It's totally not needed. You just want berries in there by themselves. For our zesty flavor for these pops, I'm going to put in a little bit of grated lemon zest. Blueberries and lemon are just delicious together. Like I mentioned before, these pops are full of lovely natural sugars. One of those sugars is honey. If you don't eat honey, you can also use agave or actually even maple syrup that will work really well too. And that's it, a handful of ingredients. It's gonna make our lovely treat. So pop on the lid. And now we're just gonna pulse it until it's nice and fine, everything is pureed well. The flavors that I'm doing are just suggestions. You can add in any fruit you like and even add in flavors like vanilla, cinnamon, whatever takes your fancy. And there you go, that's it. Probably only took, I'd say, around 30 seconds to a minute. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous color. It's lovely purple. Lemon and blueberries work so well together. I think it's just because they both have a lovely, fresh kind of a flavor. Okie dokie. This is ready to be frozen, so we're gonna put it into our containers. To freeze our frozen yogurt pops, I like to use these. They are just like go-gurt packets. They're really inexpensive. And I'm gonna put a link of where I got these on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it because you always can use a little disposable cup and you can put a lollipop stick in there so you can get it out easily. Put your yogurt into a little jug because it makes it much easier to get it into your pack. And then just go ahead and pour it right in. Just fill your yogurt up all the way to the top or to the little line that's on the pack. Then get a little squeeze on top. And there you have it. Your frozen yogurt pop is ready for the freezer. A few ingredients, a few minutes, and it's ready to go. They take only around four hours to freeze and they will last in your freezer for up to six weeks. Our next frozen yogurt pop is a great one because you nearly always have the ingredients for it in the house. It's banana and honey. Just like before, we're gonna add our yogurt into our food processor. To our yogurt, we're gonna add in our banana. Now you can use fresh, but I actually have frozen banana because I had too many bananas in my house, so I sliced them up and I froze them. So they work really well for recipes like this. To our bananas, we're gonna add in our honey. That's it, just those three ingredients. On with our lid, and then we're gonna blend it up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, lovely, only a few seconds. Let's have a little look-see. I love when you blend up bananas because it gets really nice and thick and kind of starchy. It just makes you really feel like you're eating something. Just like before, I've got my yogurt mix in a jug, which makes it easier to pour in. And then just fill up your pack. Lovely. Seal the top. And there you have it, another delicious flavor ready for the freezer. When it comes to fast food, this is what I'm talking about. You probably have noticed from my recipes that I adore tropical fruit. So our next flavor is mango and strawberry. They are two flavors that work really well together. Add your yogurt into your food processor. To our yogurt, we're gonna add in our mango. And then add your honey in. We're gonna add in our strawberry at the end. First, we're gonna blend up all the mango and the rest of the ingredients. I get asked a lot, what do I eat for breakfast? And I actually eat these because they're kind of like a frozen smoothie. They're really filling and they tide me over until around lunchtime. And I'm actually gonna put the nutritional value and the calorie count on my website. Okay, so all of our mango is nice and blended. So just lastly, I'm gonna add in the strawberry because I want there to be like little bits. I don't want it to be all totally blended. And we're just gonna give this a little bit of a zhuzh. Oh, look at that color, how beautiful that is. Put your yogurt into your jug and then into your packages. Then seal it up nice and tight. And this lovely little guy is ready for the freezer. Now, if you don't wanna miss out on any of my upcoming videos and like this recipe, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, on to the next flavor. This next flavor is really lovely because it is both sweet and creamy at the same time. It is peach and raspberry. Into your food processor, add in your yogurt. To our yogurt, we're gonna add our fruit, which is peach. 
and then raspberries. Okay, to this, we're gonna sweeten it up a little bit with our honey. Everything is in there, on with our lid, and then blend up. I've used frozen fruit for my pop, so you can see it's lovely and thick. Oh my gosh, yum, 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 yum. Fill your packs with your yogurt mix until it's all gone. Seal it up and you are ready to go. Now remember, you actually don't have to freeze these. You can eat them as is and they work really well in lunch boxes. Now that we're done with this one, we're gonna move on to our next flavor that is more like a chocolatey decadent dessert. For all you bold bakers out there, a jar of Nutella should be a staple in your cupboard because we use it quite often. It's gonna come in really handy for our next recipe, which is a Nutella frozen yogurt pop. This recipe is even easier than the others because it just requires two ingredients, our yogurt and of course, yummy Nutella. Now, if you can't buy Nutella, I've got a recipe actually on my channel of how to make your own homemade one. So you can use either or. We'll give it a zhuzh zhuzh. Okay, and that's it, it's done. This takes even less time to blend up than the others because it's just so smooth. Oh, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Chocolate and yogurt is one of my favorite treats. I'll tell you why because it's not normally as sweet as a chocolate bar would be, and it has a little bit of acidity that works really well with chocolate. I just love that kind of balance of flavors. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Pour your yogurt Nutella mix into a jug and then fill up your packs just like before. Our snack is ready in no time. Our Nutella pops are ready for the freezer. In just a few hours, your yogurt pops are ready to enjoy. And no matter what your taste, there is a flavor here for everyone. For me, my snack food has to be filling, made of good ingredients and taste good. And that's exactly what these are. I really hope you try them because I know you're gonna love them no matter what flavor you make. Make sure you check out my playlist for lots of other frozen treat ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here next Thursday for more Bigger, Bolder Baking. I've eaten half of it. I know. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, it just kind of disappeared in my mouth. Mm.